Hey y'all, welcome back to Self-Care Sunday. Yes, yes, yes. I know it's been a while since I filmed the video, showed y'all some self-care stuff. It's been a long while and I'm so happy to be back. If you're new here, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below, that button down below. And if you're coming back, thank you so much for tuning back, especially since I've been gone for about two, three weeks, maybe a little bit longer. But yeah, in today's video, I'm going to be doing a video all about candles. I love candles. Anybody that knows me personally, intimately knows that I love candles. And so I want to be showing you my candle collection that I have so far, uh, the empties that I have, and then some tools that I use uh, in order to care for my candles. If you're hearing fussing, it's going to be because my dog is in here. She recently went to the vet and I'm just keeping an eye on her because she got a little, a little cone on her head. So, <laughs> and if you hear some bumping around, that's her bumping into things. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So I want to start off with a locally owned uh, candle company that is local to me and it's called Urban Doe Candle Company. And this is the Sugar Doe candle right here. And this one smells like, let's see. It smells like sugar. It's, it's, I mean, that's one thing I can explain. It smells like sugar. It's very um, warm. It has a very warm smell. Um, if you want to like use it during the fall time, it's perfect for that. Um, but yeah, it doesn't really have the notes what's on it, but I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's called sugar dough and it just smells like candy. And so I love that smell. I love warm. And I recently just started getting into citru citrusy smells. I'll just always use to only buy only warm um smelling candles but i just love citrusy now and summer scents like that and also leave a comment below do you use do you burn candles only for seasonal like say warm um smells for the fall and summer smells like citrusy smells during spring and summer let me know down below do you only use those during the season or do you burn them throughout the whole year and so the next one is called cleaning day by urban doe candle company Mm, that one smells just like you're around the house cleaning. It smells like cleaning products, but it has like a good smell of cleaning products. It's not like a cleaning product to where you want to get rid of it. You want to, you're trying to mask it, but it has a real nice cleaning smell. Let me let me smell it one more time. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's fabuloso, but maybe just a tinge. But it has just like that that clean day smell that you're on a Saturday morning, you're putting on your jams, you walk around, and you're cleaning the house. That's her. I don't know if you heard or not. <laughs> uh, you walk, uh, you cleaning around the house and, you, and you're uh, lounging wear, and you just have all the, the cleaning supplies in the house going on, but a, like a nice cleaning supply. <laughs> um, that's what that smells like. They, they have another one called Laundry Day, which I almost bought, but I got Cleaning Day instead. So yeah, uh, this is Urban Doe, and I have another one that's empty, and I'm going to show y'all when I get to the empties part. But Urban Doe, like I said, is uh, local to me, but they do have a website where they um, ship out, so I'm going to leave everything down below. Everything I mention is going to be mentioned down below. Next is, ooh, Isle of Wax. I almost, I almost forgot what the name of it was. Um, Isle of Wax. Now, I found this candle company on uh, Instagram. And so all of their scents are like island scents. Um, they have Jamaican Me Crazy, Calypso. I can't remember everything else, but the one that I, I um, was like drawn to was Calypso. And this, and this is, what's unique about her candles are that they're in a, a coconut shell. And that's what I, I love about it. It's unique, it's different, and it has all those island uh, smells. And so Calypso smells really good. Um, it has like I think a coconut smell in it. I should have I should have wrote all these notes down. I'm not prepared, y'all. Anyways, I'm just happy to be back on on, on here. But um, Calypso, it just it just puts me right on the islands. When I smell this, I picture myself laid back, and I think I've had this description before. And I had like a, a body care video. I just pictured myself laid back on the beach on my towel, my feet up. Um, getting all bronzed up. I just pictured myself doing that on a beautiful island or a beautiful beach somewhere on the islands. When you smell Calypso, that's what I smell. And so she sent me, I only ordered one, and she was just so kind to send me two. Now that's customer service. I don't know why she sent me two. I think because, okay, I don't know if you can notice. This one's a little bit bigger than this one. 
And so I think that's probably why she sent me two, but I'm just not sure, but I appreciate that. And this one's kind of like overflowing a little bit. I don't know if we can notice or not. It's like almost on, on the top where this one is, you know, it has like a, you can see like it's not all the way full. So yeah, I'm a fan and I can't wait to order more for uh, Ivan since. Let's see, I have a, quite a few, so I'm gonna, I'm probably not gonna go and death buy everything because I have quite a few candles. Oh, wait, this is another one by Urban Doe. I'm sorry. Now, this one, this is the first one I ever bought from her. Tequila Sunrise. Y'all. <sighs> Y'all, this, this is my favorite scent from her. She had another one called... Ooh, and I mentioned it in another video, too. What was it called? Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras. Mardi Gras was my favorite, but she has not made it anymore. Tequila Sunrise was my second favorite, and y'all, this candle, y'all, I just always since put me in a place. And so, what this Tequila Sunrise candle does, it just puts me again somewhere on vacation. But it just, I see myself out on a balcony, um, somewhere looking at the sun rise. I mean, it's called Tequila Sunrise. And the sky looks orange and pinkish. That's where it just puts me at. And it has such an intoxicating smell. Y'all, if, if y'all order from Urban De Urban Dough, which I, I, I'm going to put a plug in, go ahead and order for her. First, she's black owned. Um, and she's ran by a woman. She's locally owned. Please get this tequila sunrise. Like, it's so... So, so, so good. And I will never steal you wrong. I'm always honest about everything that I get. Please get to Tequila Sunrise. Let's see what else. Um, this is an empty. Let me put this somewhere else. Um, now, this one is by Woodwick. And if, you have, if you've heard about the Woodwick company, you know that they have these, what's, I want to say it's unique. Um, but they have these, these strips in here. As you can see, and it's like a crackle sound when you burn it. And so this is the Coastal Sunset. Coastal Sunset smells really good. I mean, it just like how it's described. Coastal Sunset Spring Summer Time Scent. Um, like I said, they have the crack on it, and they put it on the back of their the top. It says, sight, it creates a long, beautiful flame. Scent, it fills your room with fragrance and sound. It has the crackle sound of like a fireplace. And so if you if you like that experience, I'll suggest you get wood wick. And I think there's other companies that have this type of wick on their candles. But yeah, I love this one during the summer. I like to, like I said before, I like to burn my candles uh, for the season. Like if it's summer, spring, I like to have light, airy, citrusy, um, those, those type of floral type of uh, scents. But if it's like Winter, uh, fall, I love to have those warm uh, scents. Uh, let's see, that's an empty, that's an empty, okay? This one, I got this as a gift. I don't know what the name of it is. Farmer's Market Candle, I got this as a gift. I, um, I'm a supervisor and so my, my staff um, got this for me for, um, well it came and they created a whole basket of stuff that was pink. <laughs> Um, and so this is part of the basket and it's called, it's cotton candy. So if you know what cotton candy smells like, I'm sure you can imagine what it smells like. Oh, so good. It smells so good. And I'm not a cotton candy eater, um, but that smells good. I like that. I don't know what the throw is and throw means like how, how much it fills up the room. Um, if the fragrance only stays around the candle or does it fill up the whole room? That's. That's what the throw means. And so I don't know how far the throw is for that one because I haven't burned it yet. Um, let's see. I'm going to use, I'm going to do that one last. Let me give it, get into my um, Old Navy stash. Not Old Navy, what I'm talking about. Bath and Body Works. Bath and Body Works puts me in the modern Old Navy for some reason. Y'all, excuse me. Um, oh, this is an empty. Okay. So this is White Barn is actually the candle company, but they are housed in uh, Bath and Body Works. And this is Black Cherry Merlot. Merlot. And so you know where Merlot, that's a wine um, flavor. And so this is 
black, it has black cherry and Merlot in it. Let me see if they have the notes on there. Okay, yeah. It has dark cherry, black raspberry, sumptuous Merlot with essential oils. And when I smelled this, it just, this is like a winter smell to me. This is a winter smell. And so I'm going, I'm going to be burning this during the winter. It has like a rich death to it and very strong. Um, yeah, it, it's just very rich. And I love that dark cherry in it. And I smell the black raspberry too. But that dark cherry is very prominent and I love that. And I love this for winter. Let's see y'all. Hope I'm going to drop this stuff y'all. Okay. Okay, so this one is Cactus Blossom. I'm not even sure I showed y'all the low one. But this is Cactus cactus Blossom. And let me see what the notes are. The notes are Cactus Flower Petal, Sun Kiss, Coconut, Vanilla, Fresh Sparkling Lemon with Essential Oils. And this, when I smelled this, I had to get it. Mm, it just smells fresh. And it has, like, that, like it says, that sparkling lemon smell. I smell the lemon... And I don't know what cactus flower petal smells like, but it smells good. Um, this is a spring and summer scent. And of course the color <laughs> matches that too, but I just love it. I had to pick it up as soon as I smelt it. Y'all, I'm running around the room up here. I got so many candles. It's a shame. Uh, let's see what else. Champagne toast. Y'all know this is a cult favorite right here. This is a cult favorite. Everybody has to have champagne toast in the collection. And I have this, it, along with that, that candle that I got from my staff, they, they got me champagne toast body, um, a body cream and some other pink stuff. Everything was like pink. Uh, champagne toast has notes of bubbly champagne, sparkling berries, juicy tangerine with essential oils. Y'all, I love champagne toast. I love it as like a body care too. Like now, now Bath and Body Works, I only usually go there for um, candles. I've never bought my own body, Bath and Body Works stuff. Now, I, I think I bought one like four years ago. But over the years, I've just acquired them through people. Gifts, mostly just gifts. Um, I have not bought any uh, body stuff from them ever since 2016. But yeah, this is champagne toast. And I think this, like I said, this is a cult favorite. It's always sold out, especially when they have their um, annual or biannual candle sale. This always sells out. And so get you some champagne toast. It smells so good. Let's see what else. Oh, this is Forever Mood, y'all. If you know anything about Forever Mood, Forever Mood is by Jackie Ina. She's a top YouTube influencer who has gotten into business. Um, not only she's a top YouTube influencer, but influencer, but I mean she's long, I mean she's collaborated with Too Faced. She has she's just on top of her game. She's you know she started off on YouTube and then she just now she's like the go-to person for makeup and beauty. And so she created her own self-care company, and she sells candles, and then she also sells. Silk pillows and then silk head, silk headbands. I think that's all she has so far. And she just recently launched a new set of candles that are just limited edition. I think they're fall scents. But this is caked up, y'all. This is caked up. And caked up smells like what you think what caked up smells like. It smells like cake batter, cookies. It just has like that warm vanilla type smell. And so caked up. For me, it would be a fall scent, maybe winter two, winter two. But y'all, the packaging is just so pretty. She has, she had, this is her initial launch. She has caked up, and let me get the other one. Left on red. And this one smells like, Trying to think what this because I don't have the notes on and the and the notes are not on here so I'm trying to think of what this smells like. I can't think of it. I cannot think of it. Like it, it has like a little bubblegum smell to me. Now people have their different you know uh scents. <laughs> they smell different things, but that smells like a little light bubblegum to me. So that's caked up, left on red, and this is. Cuffing season. Now I've been burning cuffing season. 
Cuffin season has like a, I'm trying to think of what, I, what I'm trying to, okay, and someone else said this on YouTube too. Like if you walk into like a Forever 21, I'm not, no, not Forever 21. Like an Abercrombie and Fitch or, um, what is the other store like Abercrombie and Fitch? But mostly Abercrombie and Fitch, you, like if you walk in there, you have that, that smell that's always in there. That's what it smells like. It just has like this, you know, I'm, I know I'm doing bad. <laughs> I know I'm doing bad, like uh, tell me what these notes are, but I just know they smell good. <laughs> They smell good, and that's all. And I and I I forgot to write down the notes because I, I I knew that the notes were not on here and on the website. But I know I'm doing horrible <laughs> of telling you what these notes are, and what they smell like. But they this note they smell good. They smell so good. And so caked up again is like cake batter left on bread is like bubble gum to me. And um, cake uh, cup and season and just like that perfumey type smell or like a mask like a unisex type perfume uh cologne that's what it smells like to me um i think that's it for people things that i have not emptied out so let me go to my empties now this no this is not empty this is my last one this is vanilla macaron and i picked this up this is by dw home and i picked this up from marshall's um and i have these these little ones like this i put these in my room or in the guest bathroom. Move, move. Y'all, she smell my candles. <laughs> um, okay, okay, so let's go to the empties. Now this is Yankee Candle, and this is Pink Sand, and I consider this an empty because they said that only to, to burn up until like one fourth of it is left, and so this is an empty for me. Um, this is Pink Sands by Yankee Candle, and what you think what it smells like, that's what it smells like. Let me see if they have the notes on here. <laughs> nope, what's up with these companies not putting the notes on there on the bottle? But yeah, so this is a summer spring scent, so that's why it's gone because I burned this up through the spring and summer. Because I got this last year for Christmas at a Christmas party. Um, let's see, what else is empty? What is this? Oh. This one, I think I had this in my last video. Not my last video, but I had a video um, talking about the swag bucks stuff and I got this for free. Now this is a mango margarita and this is an empty for me. I can burn it a little bit more, um, but I'm gonna consider this an empty because it's almost gone. But this is what you would smell like, what you think would smell like mango margarita. Like it's just, they did a good job of what is what they're calling it. That's what, it, you, that's what you're gonna smell. Um, let's see what else is empty. Now, I have a few fall scents that are already empty. Y'all, look. <laughs> that is gone. So, this is from Urban Doe, my, uh, the locally owned company, Urban Doe uh, Candle Company. And this is her pumpkin chai. And this smells so good. Like, I'm a pumpkin person. I don't do everything pumpkin when the, whenever the fall comes. But when it comes to candles, coffee... Uh, pumpkin bread, I'll, I'll do that. But this smells so good. That's why it's gone. Um, let, let's see what else. This is another one that I got. Let's see. I got this from Marshall's. This is Harvest Pumpkin. Now this, it has a pumpkin smell. Let me see if they have the notes. Nope. Uh, this is by Powder and Smoke. I've never heard of this company before, but this is, I got this from Marshall's. Um, Harvest Pumpkin, it does not have a strong pumpkin smell. It has like this other sprinkling of something in it that's not pumpkin. It says spice on it, um, but I'm not sure what it, what it is, but of course you're going to smell the pumpkin, but there's, there's like another layer of something that's in it that just smells so good and it's gone. Like, <laughs> I can't burn this anymore because like if I do, it's going to go out. So I love this one. This is it's gone. Um, and then what else? Oh, this is another Old Navy one that I got. A marshmallow Fireside. And the notes on this are toasted marshmallow, smoldering woods, fire roasted vanilla, crystallized amber with essential oils. And this was really good. Again, this is called Toasted Marshmallow. And I 
they probably have it still, but I got this like last year. And so um, it's pretty much gone. What am I trying to look for? But what stands out to me is that I smell the marshmallow, but then that smoldering woods, that smoldering woods like really stood out to me. It smells like you're in the woods, but you, and you uh, smell like a fire that's going on along with the marshmallow. Like I love this and I think I'm gonna get this again sometime soon and I'm gonna see if they have it there. I hope they do. But that's it. Yeah, that's it for my candle company. Now, there's some other candle companies that I'm so excited to try out, which is called Basque and Lusk. Um, K. LaRose Candle Company. Um, and there's something else, Glow Through It. That's another one. And there's, there's quite a few that I follow on Instagram that I'm like, I'm so excited to try them out. Um, I love candles. I love, and why I, I'm doing this on a self-care Sunday is because to me, Bella, <laughs> uh, to me, um, candles are self-care to me because when I come home or I'm at home just relaxing, I burn a candle. It just brings a peace to me. It brings a calmness to me. It helps me to relax when I see a candle burning and I have the smell going through my home. I just love it. And, and it just it just brings so much calmness to me. So that's why I consider candles a self-care. Not only me, there's a lot of people that considers uh, candles like a self-care uh, tool because it just, it just brings calmness and relaxation to you. Um, calms your nerves, makes you just be, just relax at home. And so, now I'm going to get into some tools that I use. Um, any candle person, any candle collector, lover, you're going to have some tools. And so this is, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> I do, but I just forgot what it is. But pretty much what this does, and I guess I can show you an example. Y'all, okay. I guess I can show you an example. Let me find one that's probably, I can use it on. Let me see. On this Harvest Pumpkin one. No, oh, not really. Okay, so you see how like the candle, like the wick um, can lay over or lay down. So what you will use this for is you'll dig in there and it's long enough for you to, and it has an angle on it, to where you can pick up the wick and just bring it back up. Cause sometimes the wicks, they lay they lay down in the, um, in the wax. And so you just pick it up so you can light it. That's what that's for. And I got these tools off of Amazon. I'm going to link it down below. Next is the snuffer. This is the snuffer. And so what you do with this, I'm going to use the same candle. No, I'm not. I forgot to show you this candle, y'all. See, I got them all over the place. This is Jungle Gardenia. And I got this from Marshalls as well. And I use this in my bathroom, in my guest bathroom. And that one just smells like, literally, I have gardenias, gardenias in my uh, yard. And so that smells exactly what, what it says, gardenias. And so let me go to, which one I'm going to do? Which I'm going to do? Okay, cuffing season. It's cuffing season, y'all. I think I'm going to do a makeup video for um, people that go on their first dates. Um, you know, cuffing season is, is, is upon us. And so um, I think I'm going to do a makeup video to show you how to do a first date look. If you want to see that, leave a comment below. But yeah, so what this what this is, is that you just snuff out your candle. And so the, the mistake I made when I very first used this is I put it all the way down in the wax when it was going. But all you really need to do is just lightly put it over it like that, and it's going to go out. Um, Yeah, and so instead of blowing it, you know, and it getting the wax everywhere, um, causing, um, and also it helps to cause, uh, not cause like the, uh, smoke to go everywhere. So this is what it does. It just simply snuffs it out. And so the smoke and the wax won't get everyone when you blow it out. And then last but not least is this. This is your, um, scissors, your candle wick scissors. And we get the wig off. And so what you do, so I'm ready to snip this one. So what you do is that you just peel it, you put it on there because you always just to have one fourth, always snip off one fourth of the wick to have an even, even burn and so it can burn clean. And so what you do is put it in there and then you tip it back. I don't know if you can see it. So you do it in there and then you tip it back and then you just snip. 
and take off. And then your burn will be even. Your wax will be even. It won't create that little hollow a hole in the middle of your candle. And it's clean. It doesn't have all the smoke going everywhere when it burns. But yeah, that's my candle collection. And I'm so eager to try more, especially um, Black Friday is coming up. Um, so I'm trying to save my little coins so I can get some uh, candles. Especially from now all the candles that I named, Bask and Lust, Kayla Rose, Glow Through It. All the candles that I pretty much follow on Instagram are black owned. And so that's what I'm excited about it. Uh, excited to, uh, to, you know, to patronize them, to support them, um, especially in times like this. So yes, I'm so excited. I love candles. And it's just, again, self-care is just all about you. Now, candles may not be self-care for you. But for me, it is because I love the smell of them. I love how it brings just calmness and relaxation to me. It gives me a peace of mind when I'm at home, just relaxing around the house. So yeah, y'all, practice self-care is very, very important. I know I've been in my A for the last few weeks, but I'm back. Um, I can't promise you, you know, visits, air, not visits, <laughs> videos every week because sometimes not doing videos is self-care for me. You know, taking a break and just relaxing and not pressuring myself to make videos, that's self-care for me. So if you don't see a video from me, it's because I'm taking a break or I just wasn't feeling it. And I'm not gonna make myself do a video because I, I wanna pump out videos. I do it when I feel like doing it. So that's what you're gonna expect from going going forward um, is when you see videos because I'm up to it, I'm have, I'm in the mood for it and I'm gonna bring energy to it. Um, that's what you need, that's what you want. And so practice self-care, leave a comment below what you're gonna do this week to practice self-care and remember, there's beauty in self-care. Thank you so much for tuning in.